Hey, what's up guys, Rep here. So today's gonna be a bit of a ranty video. Today we're gonna be talking about a sentiment that's growing and gaining a lot of support, not only just from regular Twitter users and alike, but also from some of your favorite content creators as well. That sentiment is the belief that people who argue with antis are actually worse than the antis they're arguing with. Now, this is very confusing to me, and it's something that touches upon a lot of the content I cover on this channel, and I wanted to share my thoughts on this whole situation and how some people have come to believe these sentiments that I strongly disagree with. But first, it's that time of the month. Quick spiel, 20 seconds here. If you use the code REVSAYS30, you'll get 30% off your total advanced GG order. This is always a great chance to restock, as you guys know, but also a great chance to try out this energy alternative with a nice discount code. So again, you can use my link in the pinned comment and use code REVSAYS30 for 30% off your total order. So for a bit of an explanation, I actually tried to record this video before I left for a trip, but I was unable to, so we're going old school, no VTuber model as I record this video in a relative's apartment, so yes. But as a reminder, we are talking about a tweet that a VTuber made that essentially said that people who constantly talk about drama and try to own antis are worse than the antis themselves, which is something I strongly disagree with. Now, the reason I'm not showing this tweet is because I don't want to start drama in a video about drama. I don't want to start drama because I believe that the tweet was just poorly worded. But the general sentiment of the tweet is something that a lot of people agree with, and that's people who argue about drama and antis are worse than the antis themselves. Again, I strongly disagree with that. Are there annoying people who are fighting antis? Of course. I mean, one type of person that comes to mind are the people who constantly argue every second of the day with one follower account antis who are never going to change their mind. It's just a waste of time and you're clogging up people's timelines. I understand how that's annoying. But one type of person I do find personally annoying is what I call liabilities. Now, liabilities are interesting because they have generally good intentions and they generally have agreeable points at their core. They share beliefs that you also believe in like they're anti-censorship or free speech advocates, but the way they present their thoughts are either in the corniest or most self-defeating ways that they could possibly imagine. Like either they tweet it in a very bad way, like poor choice of words, or they are hyper aggressive or corny, or really they just make their stance in a way that simply serves as ammunition for antis, an easy dunk for antis, and then of course, it looks bad for everyone who also shares a general belief with that person making the post everyone's dunking on. And honestly, it has to do a lot with knowing how to pick fights and knowing how to be patient and understand how to share your thoughts in a way that is conscious of the fact that antis out there are looking for a way to twist your words and to jump you at any chance. But here's the thing, are those people annoying? Sure, at times they're annoying. I mean, I even know people like this, and I'm, I'm friends with them. It's okay to be annoying every once in a while, okay? But are they worse than the antis themselves? Absolutely not. I mean, how could they be worse than antis? Because antis have evolved to a point, they're not just saying, ha, her derpa, anime bad, you guys are a bunch of nerds and weebs. No, the core of what we cover on this channel is things like death threats, very rabid harassment, slander and other things coming from antis directed at anime fans, VTuber fans, free speech advocates, anything related to that, okay? A whole list of people. And it's become incredibly normalized. So when we're thinking about drama and arguing with antis, you have to ask, what is drama, okay? Like, uh, to me, drama is like VTubers infighting, okay? Like a VTuber says something bad about another VTuber, now they're feuding. That's drama to me if I'm covering something like that. It's drama if a localizer is saying bad things on Twitter and everyone's dunking on them and it's causing some kind of a friction. But to me, the things that antis primarily do and the things we cover on this channel, I don't consider drama. I don't consider slander to be drama. I don't consider death threats and rabid harassment to be drama. It's just gross behavior that I cover on this channel. I, I talk about plenty of things that are drama. When I think about videos like my recent Anime Man video, okay? 
People consider that a drama video, but what I covered in that video is a viral tweet with almost 100,000 likes that insinuated he was a predator with zero evidence. That's not drama to me. That's a man being slandered on a viral scale. And that's what most people are arguing about. And I think those are the good fights to go after when you see truly abhorrent behavior, but arguing over and over again with a one follower anti over some random issue is probably not the best use of your time. But when I'm talking about drama and people are being lumped in as, you know, arguing and constantly talking about drama, we're really talking about a lot deeper of issues. Like there's a reason people are so stern in their defense and so ready to argue because these things matter. People are really being put in danger and being harassed over these issues. And when it comes to that tweet, basically implying that silence is the answer in most situations, that does not work. I will tell you, silence does not work. I don't know if people just don't know how to effectively deal with bullies, but silence does not make them go away, okay? Being passive will not make them go away. You know, the whole don't pay attention to them, how do you, how do you make them stop? These people online, these aunties on Twitter will not stop, okay? They have a feedback loop of things telling them it's good to go after people and slander them and harass them over drawings and other things. Okay, silence is not the answer in these situations. And unfortunately, I think people being silent has really created the situation we're dealing with today, where there's daily viral tweets slandering and harassing people over drawings and other things like that. It's become completely normalized because people are afraid to fight back. People have been too complacent with these things. Now, does this mean you're supposed to go out there and argue with every single anti that's ever existed? No, that is annoying if you do that. But you have to pick your fights. And when you see the truly abhorrent behavior that people are simply dismissing as drama when it involves slander and harassment, that's the time to step in and say something. Here's the thing, though. I want to clarify this. And this goes to the VTuber who made the, the tweet as well. Like, you don't have an obligation personally to go out there and start fighting antis and doing things like that. You don't have an obligation to defend yourself but please do not consider the people who do fight back to be worse than the antis themselves who are doing this abhorrent behavior. That's the thing that I'm trying to get at here, okay? And we're, we're at a point where slander and misinformation has become so deeply embedded that it's not only, you know, encouraged. There's just a mountain of people now who wholeheartedly believe blatant misinformation because it's not contested the way it should be. Think about things like the definition of lolly. How many people outside of true anime fans have a misinformed opinion about that definition? You can find most people have the wrong definition of that term and they truly believe it because they don't question it because they see viral tweets claiming something that is misinformation. And that's the problem. That's where we're at right now. And we really have a, a need to protect the fandom, whether it's VTubers, anime, anything related to it, because we've seen VTubers, artists, companies, and alike be bullied into appeasing angry people on Twitter. And these people from Twitter, these antis, are a very loud minority. They don't stand for what these real communities are based on, but a lot of people just feel overwhelmed. And it's become so powerful to hate on people over concepts like drawings that they can get viral support attacking and slandering people and it's made people buckle at the knees and have to give in at times. And it's sad to see, but that situation happened because people just weren't fighting back enough. And unfortunately, that's the situation we're in now. And I would never consider the people who are arguing with these antis to be worse than the antis themselves. They might be annoying at times, but they certainly don't cross a line where they're any, in any shape or form comparable to the antis that they're arguing with. But I think that's going to do it for this video. I know it's a very uh, open-ended topic, and feel free to disagree with all of my points. And uh, I'd like to hear about your thoughts in the comment section down below. Definitely an interesting topic, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And you enjoyed the hardcore wow in the background. I'm glad I had this uh, stock footage saved up. I always stream this on Twitch, by the way, if you guys want to catch the streams. I've been streaming a lot of uh, classic hardcore wow. But that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.